Monday, May 6, 10, 13 a.m. New York time. Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. If you haven't yet, consider subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's for free. If you want to get access to the videos the same day they're released and a lot more content, subscribe to my Patreon. Links below. If you like my content I'm sharing, want to give it a donation, any amount, I have a PayPal and Venmo. Links are below in the description. I did some day trading this morning. Took two trades and I had to select what I want to trade, what financial instrument. So I look at the daily charts first. I was looking here at the Euro, forward slash 60, and the ES, forward slash ES. So when I was looking here at the Euro, I see in the daily chart, we didn't take out the higher low of the prior day. I looked over on the ES, we did take out the prior day high. So I knew that was tro trending, more bullish. I decided to take that trade as day trade. Then I go to the top down on the ES. Look here, multiple time frames. Again, the weekly, we took out the high already of close of Friday. Daily chart, we took out the high also Friday. I'm also looking at the labels. Oops. Or open up the one hour chart. Should we go to the 15 minute? Apologize. Go to the 15 minute chart. I want to identify what happened during the session. So, this green area was the Asian session. 0, 0200, sorry, 20 hundred, 2300 was the Asian session. Then, after the Asian session, we went lower, made a new low. Then came the London session, 0, 0200 to 0, 0500. Never went back down to test that low, but we did make a higher high, higher low than the Asian session. Again, Asian session here, London session here. So again, showing bullish bias. Look at the quarters, the gray horizontal right there. Nice. So I was thinking, okay, let me show you on the one hour, sorry, the four hour. Looking for big round numbers, what we rejected and where we're going. So maybe. So this was Friday, big round number, 5,100, big move on top of it, bullish bias. <clears throat> Later in the day, Friday, 5,150, again, this red horizontal number. So I'm saying, okay, we break above that every target. Well, not if I was expecting this to the upside. This quarter is 5,175, this gray horizontal line. Yep. So Friday, we tested this impulse move down. See that blue line? <clears throat> Which is about six season. There we go. So this was an impulse move down that blue, that big red candle. Impulse move down, labeled it with the blue line. And we tested here on Friday. And then Sunday night, tested it, went above it. So again, I'm seeing more bullish bias, thinking, okay, we're breaking above that. We haven't done a test of the 5150, the red horizontal line. Thinking we're going to go to this quarters, to the upside. And also here in the four hour, oops, it's a lot of oops here on the four hour on the upside. It's about some more pre market. I'm thinking, okay, I see this red midpoint. That was an impulse move down, red midpoint. Thinking that's a potential. We might test two up here, 5183.98, rounded off 5184, which is above the 5175 and below the 5200. So those are some areas I was looking on the upside to be tested today, which we already tested. Take it to the one hour. So on the one hour, when I was looking at this at seven o'clock, seeing this tight consolidation, kind of like a cup and handle, a cup. Let me show you on the flex grid now, my trades. This is the five minute on the left and the one minute on the right. There we go. So this is the cut, the grid I'm focused more on when I'm looking for that entry. There we go. 
So again, the one minute on the right, the five minute on the left, zoom in some more. So my first trade on the ES was long at 0821, 0821. I'm gonna zoom in here. Yep, went long right there. I wanna show you more of the five minutes, see what was happening. This was a swing point here. Swing point here, retest right here on the five minute. Broke above it right there. Big impulse move up. I liked it. And you can see on the one minute, I waited for this candle to get done. This green candle went up, closed above it. And then I was looking for a retest right here. So this big wake retest, that, that's why I went long. Again, long 0821. And as we were gravitating up, I moved up my target a little bit more. And closed it at 0829 for profits. Nice. It was right here. It was almost uh, just shy of the 830, which is the orange line. Let me gray that out. Oops. There was no news, but I just want to keep that on there. So a nice move out again. Purple line right here. That went long there and closed it out right there. Well, after I closed it for that profit, went up a little bit higher, right there, that four hour high. Let me show you on the four hour here. So remember I said this four hour high was that impulse move on that red candle back there. So there was a lot of trades occurring over there. And then makes sense, right? Went up, tested it and dumped. So thank goodness I closed my long there. Again, in at 0821, out at 0829. Let's go on to the next trade. Set it up on the head. So on the left, on the five minute, let me zoom out some more. There we go. So on the left, on the five minute, natural retracement, big green candle, big green bullish candle, getting close to the 930. So I was hesitant to take a trade. But again, I'm looking for this new high to be retested because I was still bullish bias. So big green candle, look for some confirmation here. Let me show you on the one minute now. So the one minute, so now some more. Big move up here in the one minute consolidation. I like this retracement. And that white candle right here just means it opened and closed the same price. So I waited for a reversal and it did that green candle. And after that green candle, I went long at 0927, really close to the New York session open. Yeah. I knew something fast was gonna happen. I felt something new was gonna happen. So right there went long. And then here, the New York session, right here. Oh, one minute, one, uh, 0929, huge spike up. Big move, one minute before the New York session opened. So my gains were up to like 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12 and three quarters. Nice gains. And I was greedy. <laughs> I was greedy, I didn't close the trade yet. But I did move my stop up. So I moved up my stop, blocked my gains in, And then session opened, 9.30, huge red candle. Never took out that one that 9.29 high there. Nope. Just went lower, 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 and stopped me out. Again, stopped me out for gains because I locked in my profit. So I got stopped out at 9.30. Left a lot of money on the table. Yep. So in hindsight, sure, I should have just been happy and taken that 10-point gain instead of giving back what I had from the gains of the 12 something. Let me show you on the what, five minute now, see how it's looking. There we go. So on the five minute, we're looking at a chart. It went to where I expected. Remember that midpoint right there I spoke about? 51.83, yep, it went there. 
Again, I closed my tray before we went there. So again, went long here. That was my first trade. Second trade, went up here, building consolidation. Thank you as always for spending just a little time with me. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.